Hi everybody, I'm Jordan Rolfus from Beagle Rampant Productions. And I'm Selena Rolfus. And we're continuing our playthrough of Pool of Radiance. We're in the slums. We're getting ready to kind of beat the slums. I need to do a quick um, spell refresh, and I and uh, this is a cutscene battle, so I should be good to camp in here. You know, sometimes you like um, like there's a thing that like you know what it is, but you still don't trust it. Like, yeah. Yeah. Like, um, not to bring up Resident Evil 2 again, but, um, playing the bee scenario, like how you open the hidey hole under the statue in the, um, main hall. And, like, in the bee scenario, you can go in that all the time. And it's a place where you can hide from Mr. X. But, like, I would always feel extra scared in that one, you know? Because of what if it, it doesn't actually work and right. oh, I'm here. And like you could even, if you angle yourself the right way, you could see his legs as he walks by. Yeesh. But I mean, logically, like, yeah, he can't go in there because like, yeah, his character it, model is bigger than the entrance. Than, than the room, yeah. But I don't think that would stop him. It, this is true. Alrighty, guys. Wait. What did I what did I do wrong? Boy, guys, could you imagine if I would have That's a weird look you're giving. That is a weird look. That's the look of what the hell am I doing? Okay, we're at the Kuto's well area now. You enter well. the slums of Flan. It seems there are no monsters. Okay, we actually beat the slums of Flan in the previous episode. We can't. We will not have any um, uh, random encounters wow. in the slums anymore. We did the slums, so let's head back to Flan and claim our reward. Huh. I mean, that's fun. I just. You were expecting a big. I was talking up a big scary boss. Yeah, I expected some kind of fanfare, be it, like, fun or scary or... But it just kind of happened. Yeah. Cool, so... Do-do-do-do. You enter City Hall. The corridor runs south and the door beyond is watched by the guards. You open the east door and find the city council clerk. Guards are watching the south door. Let me check whether we owe you a reward. You sure do. Flan will be expanded now that you have cleared the slums. Take your reward. Yeah, you don't get a whole lot for doing yeah. the slums, but, uh... Now I'll give you your commission. Find any history books about Flan in the old times. Braccio would like to see you. Old Braccio. He is at the Shrine of Tear to the east of here. Thieves and traitors are living in Koval Mansion. Destroy them. Damn, lady! <laughs> Not like talk to them or bring them to trial. No, just destroy them. Like, uh, okay. This girl is bloodthirsty. I have given all the missions that I may. Do we wanna. Well, we'll go ahead and see Braccio. Why can we never go to the library? Yeah, that's actually where we're where we're actually gonna head next. We'll we'll talk to Braccio. Like the library just sounds like a cool mission. It kind of is. Welcome. Let me introduce Durton. How do you do? I'm a cleric of Tear. Uh, Nightshade, my eyes are up here. <laughs> there is a shrine of Bane across the river. It was ours before they stole it from us. I want to get our shrine back from the monsters. Will you help me? There is a secret treasure in the shrine. It is yours if you succeed. We will grab you later, Durkin. Uh, please tell me if you reconsider. 
we are gonna do the mission, but not right now. Well, can't you just accept it and do it later? Uh, he will join the party. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, yeah, we're, we'll get to you, Durton. You, 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 you're on the agenda. We train heroes here. Can I help you? Yeah, you need a thousand gold pieces to train. Uh, you don't have enough experience, Rose. Hey, Rose, quit staring at my pecs. <laughs> Actually, you can stare all you want. A splinter could be a cleric at three level. Oh, hell yes, we do. Your training's finished. Anyone else want to train? You need a thousand gold. Splinter could be a magic user at two level. You want to be trained? Uh, I don't see Stink Cloud there. Magic Missile? Mm-hmm. You know it. Your training's finished. Uh, does anybody else want to be trained? In which class will you train? You don't have enough experience. Yeah, this is something that maybe could have been improved upon. Like... The, and again, I could print out, like, what all the levels are. Uh, you don't have enough experience. You're just going to be a lousy cleric there, Pumpkin. Pumpkin spent a lot of her time dead or hurt, though. Yeah. Pumpkin could be a magic user at two level. Uh, What's friends? He does not work. <laughs> <laughs> Friendship never works, kids. Anybody else want to be trained? I would be surprised if she can become a, a magic user at three level. Okay. I like how they even say three level. That, that's kind of cool. Uh-oh. Uh, we can train, but we don't have the money. Uh-oh. All right, who wants to do the naughty dancing? <laughs> You're doing so. Don't have any gems. Was that the big long sword? Okay, no, we, we good. See, guys, sometimes you gotta just sell the magic stuff you find. Like, that's just how it has to be. Uh. Pumpkin? Do you have anything, Splinter? You were the guy I was literally just looking at. We are not selling the necklace. Alright. So... Dun 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 ba. You need a thousand gold pieces for training. In which class will you train? Nightshade could be a fighter at two level. You want to be trained? Alright, you're trained. Anyone else want to be trained? You don't have enough experience. In which class will you train? You don't have enough experience. Wait a minute. Oh yeah, pumpkin. Uh, yeah. Okay. So everyone should be. Craven could be a fighter at two level. Okay. So we're all in double digit hit points now. Yay!
You don't have enough experience, you're still too green. You don't have enough experience. Okay, um... Do we want the, uh, dude to identify some of our nonsense? Yeah! Uh, Rose have anything need identifying? I know that's a ring of protection, so... It's identified! Of giant strength, okay. That will come in handy before magic user spell, okay. Healing, good, good. Okay. Uh, alright. Um, ah, we need to actually. I guess we do need to, like, maybe see what the magic user spell is before I go and sell it. Mirror image are cool! So, yeah. What does that one do? That one, my dear, um, pays for um, the cost of identifying it. <laughs> Alrighty! So we're not doing super good on um, cash at the moment. Um, that's the thing when you have a whole lot of um, people in your party, and a lot of them are multi-class, you know? But this will really help us at the end of the game when we get everyone, like... Yeah. ...solid, and, like, we'll do grinding, we'll do lots of grinding, and we'll, um... Like, we'll grind, and we'll, um... Uh, when we grind, we'll earn treasure. Very little in the way of treasure, but, like... Old person. Oh, I love it. Um. Do we want Splinter to maybe learn a magic missile? And then Pumpkin will learn a sleep. Yeah, and Cure Light Wounds is the only healing spell we will have. Huh. No Cure Heavy Wounds or anything? No Cure Heavy Wounds. Oh yeah, Pumpkin didn't become an extra level cleric because she was too busy... Being dead. Being dead. Mm -hmm. Alrighty, so... Let's go... To the direction of the library, we won't. We, we may not go like right into the library. I'm actually. How how are you doing, Craven? Okay, he's a two level thief, a one level magic user. Guys, uh, do you want to see Craven and Nightshade die? Oh no. <laughs> yeah, so we might do a thing that might get Craven and Nightshade killed. Oh, the dirty, smelly room. Yeah, there are no more monsters in the slums. It's really weird. Do you miss them? A little, yeah. You encounter malevolent gnolls. I thought you said there were no more non-monsters. We're not in the slums anymore. We are now at the area of uh, Kuto's Well. And yet it looks exactly the same. No, you see, there aren't vines on the walls. Oh my god. <laughs> Guys, Squeaker just doesn't get it. <laughs> 
So, malevolent moles, um, y'all may have noticed, um, there's a lot of them, and they're pretty malevolent. So yeah, the, from here on out, the random encounters are going to start getting, like, rougher. Why do they have a thing that says H when they're asleep? I guess that means, like, they're being held. Oh, okay. So, like, you're, whole, you're being held to, you know, die. Nobody can hit Splinter! Actually, people can hit Splinter, so if y'all want to, uh, not do that. It's weird how Rose kind of became our, um, long-range girl. That was never my intent, but it happened, and whatever. I'll get a girl who can do both. Hey, you know. There it is. <laughs> I was just thinking, huh, this is going too well. It begs the question, why did I go to the inn when I could have slept in the slums for free? So what happens if Brachio dies? I mean, he doesn't. Like in a battle. Like you said, he joins our party. Oh, Durkin joins our party, but yeah. If, yeah, um, sorry, if, Brachio's if... friend. I mean, really nothing. Just like if any of the other characters. Now, um, Brock, um, Durton is an NPC. Yeah, so like, if he yeah. does die, like, will people be mad at us? No, it's like, yeah, side up happens, dude. Oh, well, I didn't like him anyway. Hey, you know, like, ah, oh, he was one of those clerics that just never shut up during his cleric sermon. They also give sermons? I mean, I would imagine, like, they're the religious people. So Pumpkin and Splinter are giving sermons? Mm-hmm. Ah. Huh. Yeah, like, Craven is my long-range boy. Somehow Rose became the long-range person that was never how it was supposed to be, but it happened. But hey, at least we're getting a little more experience. You enter the slums of Flan. It seems there are no monsters. And we will go ahead and just cure, because it literally was the first thing that happened in Kuto's Well. It's like, welcome to Kuto's Well. Here are some malevolent gnolls. expand? Does that mean, like, later in the game there'll be villagers here in the slums? Unfortunately, no. Oh, that would have been cool, like, if you could see them doing a reconstruction effort. That would have been kind of cool, yeah. I guess what I'm saying is maybe this game needs an HD remake. Yes! You are near Kuto's Well. Kuto's Well is in front of you. Water gushes from its depths. That doesn't look like a well. Kobolds were lying in wait for you! There's a lot of you freaks. Hmm. 
Now she's not gonna put her team to sleep, is she? She should not. If I hit it here. It's a different sound, and I'm here for it. <laughs> as the kids say. Get it, Nightshade! like a big giant H on it. Yes. And <laughs> use that while you sleep. <laughs> yeah, dude, we should have that be like some Beagle Rampant merch. Rose, come on. You're our MVP, girl. It's kind of pathetic when your hardcore fighters are missing on kobolds. Kobolds, climb out of the well! So many kobolds! Is this just an endless stream of kobolds? No, I don't think it's an endless stream of kobolds. Yeah, I love the new, um, uh, put him to sleep uh, sound. Yeah, that's cool. Pumpkin, you always find new ways to disappoint me. Yeah. I'm a little concerned that Rose isn't able to, um... One shot of kobold yet? Oh. That is something that probably should have happened by now, but. Always good to take out the leaders. history. Dude, you should just surrender, other kobold. Yeah. Yeah. The wooden ladder runs down the wall of the well. Do you climb down? Yes. You climb down the ladder. There is a secret door a little above the surface. The door is slightly ajar. There's a ladder here that you can climb up. Do you climb up? No. Oh, dude, we have area access here? 
you enter a large catacomb. The room is lit with several torches. A curtain is hung across the door. You see something move slightly across the room. Someone just shot an arrow at the party! Oh no! Did we lose hit points? Actually, no, everyone's still at max. I should look before I speak. <laughs> no, it's fine. There's a secret door on the south. The infamous bandit Norris the Grey and his band confront you. Yeah, this is one... This is a mission, but the council clerk doesn't tell us about it. Huh, maybe it was someone else's mission. And I thought only the thieves can go down here. Maybe that's for another thing, but we're actually not going to do that then. Which really begs the question, why did I make Nightshade and Craven thieves? But they're thieves. You are so very clever to find my hideout. Surrender or you shall perish. Oh, you want us to surrender? <laughs> Rose does not surrender. Oh, is Norris the one in the cute little green hat? <laughs> yes, he is. Wait, won't that hit us too? It should not. Yes. Norris the Grey. Oh, come on, Rose. You need to take out Norris the Grey. had runs of this game where I um, was able to put Norris the Grey asleep. Hmm. Which really means I am doing this battle way too early. Um, Norris the Grey. Attack Norris the Grey! You'll find, though, that Norris the Grey is pretty straight up useless. Does he die after this battle, or...? Uh, when we're, when, we're, when we're through with him, he's gonna die. Oh, so it's not like we beat him, but then he goes away and is a recurring character? Uh, no, we're, we're, we're doing him in. Norris the Grey is dying. Okay, yeah, we did him in. Alrighty. Kind of a longer episode, but it's all good. We, we killed Norris the Grey, guys! Is he like a big, like, thing in D&D? Like... You know how some fandoms have their big characters? Oh yeah, you know, if you guys are like hardcore D&D Forgotten Realms fans, um, uh, let us know uh, uh, about Morris the Grey, because yeah, like, because yeah, the council the clerk does not introduce him. Like, I find this, um, completely... Maybe he's like an Easter egg for like hardcore D&D peeps? I have no idea, actually, um... Nightshade, do you want a long sword? When you search Norse's body, you find a strange letter. Go to the port city with your men and follow the ogres there. There's a great reward for you in this. The boss. Norris wrote his reply on the other side of the letter. How dare you order me to follow ogres? I'll accept your offer if you allow me to lead, Norris the Grey. You have defeated the fierce bandit horde! You will be rewarded when you return to Flan. Eh, this looks like a safe place to rest now. <laughs> Alright, 
We should not have... Well, wait, Morris the Grey, he's a human, right? I didn't know if he was a human or just an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, he's definitely not a monster, so why would he be working for the monster boss against the humans? You know, freak. He doesn't even know loyalty. As a Hufflepuff, you find that upsetting. I do. You find the bandit's treasure. Um, yes, we take it. Yes, we'll need to check and see who it belonged to and give it back. Yeah. Maybe that. take it to the city council to the lost and found. Hey, council lost and found. Um, you know, we need to, uh, you know, return this to you. So we're going to go ahead and just real quickly, um... Uh, do our cure. I remember, like, when I was in high school, if someone lost their money, there would be, like, an announcement, like, oh, we found a $20 bill in the girls' room or whatever, and if it's yours, come to the office and give them, like, do they call it a serial number on dollars? Oh, my gosh. Like, and if you could give us a serial number, we'll give it back to you. Dude, no one remembers the serial number, though. Yeah, like, even if it was actually your 20 bucks and you weren't trying to scam them, like, there's no way you could claim that. And then probably once the 30 days or whatever was up, they'd be like, well, no one claimed the 20 bucks. I guess it's ours. Well, that was, that was probably... That was the scam right there. <laughs> the plot thickens. Dude, why didn't I do whole person on Norris the Grey? Splinter knows whole person. I could have held um, Norris just, the Grey. I don't know, he kind of seems like... You're intrigued. I don't want to say a waste of a character, but I'm kind of sad that he's dead. You're, <laughs> you're intrigued, dude. Squeak is intrigued by Norris the Grey. But no, we did, we did waste Norris the Grey. He's not coming back. If you guys wanted to see some more Norris the Grey, it isn't going to happen. But, like, he's... He's dead. He's humanoid. Why would he be siding with the monsters? Uh, for the money. Because Tyran Thraxus has, um, bigger bucks in but office. But if Tyran Thraxus, um, gets rid of all the humans, where is he going to spend his money? I mean, he would have to go to the Monster Strip Club <laughs> for that. And, um, like, would he even be welcome in the Monster Society? Like, or would he be as... Especially with that bit of, um, racism there. How dare you command me to lead ogres. Like... To follow ogres. I lead the ogres. He would be treated like a second-class citizen. Oh, and, and that would not jive with him. Even if he wasn't, like, he would view everyone else as a second-class you know, citizen. But he didn't, he didn't look human, though. But I, I guess maybe... But his character avatar certainly was okay, human. Okay, but when we look at the avatars we've seen, like... It's not exactly a lot of beauty queens. Yeah, I mean... Like, he easily looks as good as, um... Old Durton. Yeah. Or Braccio. I mean... Yeah, I mean... But, either way, guys, I'm Jordan Rolfus from Beagle Rampant Productions. And I'm Selena Rolfus. There won't be any more Norris the Great, but we are going to go ahead and, um... Drop your Norris the Great headcanons and fix yeah, in the comments. Talk to us about Norris the Great, dude. Um, yeah, so we're going to go ahead and save our game. We don't want to continue, so when turning off the power, hold down the reset key. Apparently that's actually a thing. It is actually a thing. Holding down resets, off you go. And that's our blue screen for the capture card. You're the best fans of any YouTuber in the world, and we love you. Bye! Bye.